Welcome to Journeyman Electrician Exam Practice Test. Our topic today is Cooking Equipment and Appliance Demand Loads. Use the link in the description to download the app on the App Store for free practice tests. Number 1. Which of the following is not true about the demand factor? A. The higher the demand factor, the less system capacity required to serve the connected load. B. Demand factor is the ratio of the maximum demand of a system to the total connected load of the system. C. Demand factor is always less than 1. D. Demand factors are applied because all of the electrical loads are not used at the same time. The correct answer is A. The higher the demand factor, the less system capacity required to serve the connected load. Explanation. The demand factor is the ratio of the maximum demand of a system, or part of a system, to the total connected load of a system, or the part of the system under consideration. Hence, the lower the demand factor, the less system capacity required to serve the connected load. Number 2. Which demand factor shall be applied when a water heater, a trash compactor, a dishwasher and a sump pump are empowered by the same supply? A. 70% B. 75% C. 80% D85%. The correct answer is B75%. Explanation. In a residential occupancy, a 75% demand factor is permitted to be applied when four or more fastened in place appliances such as water heaters, trash compactors, garage door openers, dishwashers, garbage disposers, sump pumps, attic fans, are supplied from the same feeder or service. Number 3. A small residential duplex has a 2 kW counter mounted cooktop and a 7 kW wall mounted oven installed in each unit. Determine the demand load in kilowatt to be added to the ungrounded service entrance conductors for the cooking equipment. A 9.7 kilowatts. B 12.1 kilowatts. C 18 kilowatts. D 19.1 kilowatts. The correct answer is B 12.1 kilowatts. Explanation. To solve the problem, apply the demand factors for each column A and column B of table 220.55 and add the results together. We have, according to column A, counter-mounted cooktop, 2 kW plus 2 kW equals 4 kW, then multiplied by 75% equals 3 kW. According to column B, wall-mounted oven, 7 kW plus 7 kW equals 14 kW, then multiplied by 65% equals 9.1 kW. Hence, we have 12.1 kilowatts in total. Number 4. What is the demand load, in kilowatts, for the branch circuit conductors supplying a 5 kilowatts residential electric range? A. 4 kilowatts. B. 6.4 kilowatts. C. 7.7 kilowatts. D. 8.2 kilowatts. The correct answer is A. 4 kilowatts. Explanation. Column B is to be used when applying demand factors for electric ranges of 3.5 kilowatts to 8 and 3 quarters kilowatts rating. 5 kilowatts multiplied by 80% equals 4 kilowatts demand load. Number 5. What is the demand factor for 10 household electric clothes dryers? A. 34%. B. 47%. C. 50%. D. 58%. The correct answer is C 50%. Explanation. The table 220.54 indicates that a demand factor for 10 dryers is 50%. Number 6. What is the branch circuit demand load in amperes for one 240 volt single phase 6 kilowatts wall mounted oven located in a dwelling unit? A 20 amperes. B 25 amperes. C 30 amperes. D 40 amperes. The correct answer is B25 amperes. Explanation. The single phase current formula is, the current equals the power divided by the voltage. 6 kilowatts means 6000 watts divided by 240 volts. Then we get the current of 25 amperes. Number 7. 
What is the service demand load in kilowatt for six storage type electric water heaters rated at 5 kilowatts each installed in a multifamily dwelling unit? A 22.5 kilowatts. B 24 kilowatts. C 26 kilowatts. D 30 kilowatts. The correct answer is A 22.5 kilowatts. Explanation. NEC Section 220.53 provides a 75% derating allowance for four or more fastened in place appliances supplied by the same feeder or service in a one family, two family, or multi family dwelling. First, we find the total connected load by multiplying six water heats with 5 kilowatts equals 30 kilowatts. Then multiplied by 75% and get the demand load of 22.5 kilowatts. Number 8. An 8-unit apartment complex has a 10.5 kW electric range installed in each unit. What is the total demand load for the multiple ranges when sizing the ungrounded service entrance conductors? A 23 kW. B 25 kW. C 56.5 kW. D 84 kW. The correct answer is A 23 kW. Explanation. When we have multiple ranges of equal ratings up to 12 kilowatts we are to use column C of table 220.55. Column C shows a demand of 23 kilowatts for 8 ranges of, not over 12 kilowatts rating. Number 9. What is the demand load, in kilowatts, on the ungrounded service entrance, line, conductors of a residence for one 8.5 kilowatts rated electric range? A. 6.8 kilowatts. B. 8 kilowatts. C. 8.5 kilowatts. D. 10.6 kilowatts. The correct answer is A. 6.8 kilowatts. Explanation. According to Table 220.55, Column B, we have a demand factor of 80%. Hence, 80% of 8.5 kilowatts is 6.8 kilowatts in demand. Number 10. Table 220.55 applies to household electric range rated in excess of A. 1 and 3 quarters kilowatts. B. 8 and 3 quarters kilowatts. C. 12 kilowatts. D. 27 kilowatts. The correct answer is A. 1 and 3 quarters kilowatts. Explanation. Table 220.55 and its related notes are to be used to apply demand factors for household electric ranges, wall-mounted ovens, counter-mounted cooking units, and other household cooking appliances over 1 and 3 quarters kilowatts rating. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to our channel for updated videos every week.